Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Halloween season and I'm back with a new video which is a collab that I'm participating with. His name is Akin, H. Ali Kratz, I Call Do That DIY, Kiros Workshop, Valkyrie's World, Electric Bunny, and Jackie O. This is my first Halloween collab so I decided to do something more out of my comfort zone and of course more creepy. I really like the stories from Junji Ito horror mangas such as Gio, Tomie, and Uzumaki. I've seen a lot of costumes of his characters on social media, but I haven't seen anyone make Suichi Suji, who is an iconic Junji Ito character. Suichi is a boy who specializes in black magic and likes to break habit on people he doesn't like. His design in cell is very creepy, which made him perfect for this project. So without further ado, let's get started. For the base, I will use a creatable world doll that I bought a long time ago, and which I will finally be able to use since it has proportions quite similar to Soichi's. After removing his hair, I begin to clean his face with pure acetone. Um, his face is printed, so I will have to use a little force with it. And that's it. Now with that, I will work on his hair. I already have my jarwets ready, so I can now do his wig cap. Off camera, I already glued the wets, so I just had to cut the hair and then do it in layers. So Ichi's hairstyle is very simple, so I don't have to complicate with so many details. I wet it with a brush to be able to get the shape better, and with my sculpting tool, I style his pens, which give me a feeling that are sweaty or greasy. Ew. Now that I'm satisfied with the hairstyle, I protect it with hairspray so that I don't lose the shape. And with that, Soichi's hairstyle is ready. And wow, it is a simple hairstyle. The doll lids are useless for this project, since I want to make Soichi with his creepy smile. And after removing the lids, I put the head back on his body so I can work on the modifications. I start by putting a piece of epoxy on the area I cut trying to bend it well into the surface and so I can make Soichi smile. Of course I'll make him bite nails. Soichi apparently suffers from anemia, so he always showing nails to soak out his iron or use them to make them look like sharp teeth. And with pins, I open the holes to then put the nails in. After sanding the face, I spray MSC on it to change the skin tone and make it look as pale as the character. After covering everything, I only protect the body with two layers of matte varnish. And with that, this is the result. Now with 3 more layers of Mr. Super Clear just on the face, I start drawing the eyes based on Junji Ito's drawing style. His style is not the typical kawaii style of any manga. I think the more realistic the drawing is, it looks more scarier, and even more so with certain details. Now that my lines are defined, I apply another layer of spray to create the blush. The good thing about this face is that it is very monochromatic, so I don't have to worry about shades of red or pink. With a black pencil, I draw the lines that he has in the shadows of his eyes, which give him a rather macabre touch. Let's say more like the Junji Ito touch. <laughs> with that, I define the lines more with the black watercolor pencil. With black Posca, I define his pupils more since I have erased them. With white paint, I paint his teeth. And with gloss varnish, I cover his eyes, but I not finish it. 
with white Posca I put the shine on his eyes. He didn't need it, but I feel like I had to put my personal touch on it. And now I protect the eye with more varnish. Of course, for the nail on his mouth, I will use pins since they are the only ones with the appropriate skill to simulate that. What I will do is cut them and toss a rash them in his mouth to then glue them with super glue, leaving it like this. Now with more gloss varnish, I protect the mouth and the nails. This is what the dog will look like with the hair on and wow, it has taken shape. And with that, the face is ready. For being my first time making a creepy face, it didn't turn out so bad, right? Off camera, I made it close using fabrics that I already used in previous projects, such as the great cashmere fabric that I use for the pants. I want to improve at this and I need to put more practice into sewing dog clothes, as this is usually the part that takes me a while to work on. I seen that Soichi have many styles of shirt, but I choose to make this shirt with red diamonds printed on it, which I will paint with red paint and I put masking tape so that the shape comes out more precise. Then I remove the masking tape. Staying like this. I felt that the pants were missing something, so I decided to add black lines to give them a more detailed touch. I learned that the more detail a piece of clothing has, the more impact it has, even if in this case there are only black lines. This is how the clothes will look on the doll's body and it looks good on him. Off camera I made his socks. And with that, I will show you how I made the shoes. I covered the feet with the socks on using plastic wrap and then covered them with the same fabric I used for the shirt. On the bottom, I put soft cardboard in the shape of the sole so I could stretch the fabric and stick it to that part. With that, I covered the shoes with several layers, <laughs> that's right, with several layers of white glue to be able to get the shape of the shoes. When it is dry, I carefully pass a scalpel over it to be able to remove the shoe from the foot. Leaving bow like this. I cut off the edges making the shape I want and put craft on them to make the soles. So that in the end I can give them a better finish with paint and varnish. And this is how Soichi's clothes turn it out. I'm very happy with how this result turned out, which means that I can now continue with the accessories. In Junji Ito's story, Soichi is characterized by doing a traditional Japanese ritual called Ushino Kokumairi, which consists of cursing a person by nailing a voodoo doll to trees and using candles on the head. And both his mallet and his doll I made them all using wood and toothpicks with an excellent paint finish. For the candles on his head, I'll use birthday candles since they are the right size for the doll. I only use the white ones and I'll cut them so they don't look so long. Since this will be a disposable material, cause I'm going to light the candles, I bought more packages and cut them. Ok, now I'm going to put on his white ribbon which I made with the fabric from his shirt and I'm going to put the candles on very carefully. I was going to show you how I light the candles, but as a last minute change, I decided to cut that part because I didn't want to break the YouTube community guidelines, and I didn't want to risk my channel just by playing with fire. So I'm sorry guys, I hope you can understand, but don't worry, because I'm going to apply the demonstration on my Instagram, so everything's fine. And with that, Soichi Suji is ready. Now let's see the final photos. No, 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 
I decided not to do any more montage with the photos of my doll, since it was starting to look very fake and the process of editing them is very exhausting. And thinking that like this in certain places makes it look better and more natural. What I like about making this doll is that the lines of his face are not perfect, and I didn't have to worry about making a pretty character, since the expression of his face is very impactful. Well, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. And also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok as The Harder Tolls. The link to my coffee page is in the description of the video. If you want to buy me a coffee, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the spooky videos that my friends made. It's seriously something that you should all miss. Feliz Halloween, chicos. My name is Eric, and I'll see you next time. Bye.